I just want to welcome everybody and thank everybody for coming out tonight. This has been a long time coming and we are very excited to have you all here to celebrate um, Catherine Park and the wonderful gift that she's left um, in her name. And we are really excited for her boys to be able to enter this room whenever they want to, to um, just capture their mom's love of learning. The sign behind us is dedicated um, to Catherine Park. It captures a poem that she held near and dear to her heart. And the day came when the risk it took to remain tight in a bud was more painful than the risk it took to blossom. That was a poem that was near and dear to Catherine's heart and um, we couldn't think of a better way than to have it hang here in our new Park Programming Center. The Park Programming Center is hardware and software. It's little squiggly pieces of stuff <laughs> <laughs> that can get turned into a something. <laughs> and there's programs to give the something a brain so that it can follow instructions, hopefully. It's dedicating the center in memory of Catherine whose creativity, tenacity, I won't even ex elaborate on that, <laughs> attention to detail, and unconventional, unconventional ideas enriched both her family and her coworkers. It's a place where one and one really doesn't have to equal two. It might mean success. Where six times three can equal dream where 23 divided by four doesn't have a remainder, it means room. It's a place where rules are not so much followed as developed, where imagination flies in minds without wings, where failure merely means try again. So you can make them all these are colors. The colors are what determine what it does. To the students using the center, Catherine is unknown. After Jonathan goes on to middle school, her name and her tragedy will be unfamiliar. The kids will call it names like Robo House, like <laughs> Ninjago, like Brain Exploder, with the memorial name will be forgotten, and that's fine because the real tribute to Catherine's memory is not a symbol bearing a name that fewer and fewer people will recognize. It is a means of self-expression, an outlook for wild inventions simmering in the wildly inventive minds of the students and a place to have fun. As time passes, the name and names are forgotten, we, Catherine's family, will continue to find joy because the center is here and ongoing as students and faculty continuing continue to grow in knowledge and capability, we will find peace because in Catherine's name there was created something that is very, very good. I remember taking the boys to ball game several years ago and we're watching the thing. I don't know if the Cubs won or lost. I think you probably guess. <laughs> <laughs> there she was doing her homework watching the Cubs game and doing her math. But she had a dedication, an appreciation, and a love of learning. And she did enjoy the Cubs once in a while, but I never saw anybody really get so much or appreciate so much and apply so much of what she learned and then give it to her kids and those around her. And then suddenly out of nowhere, this opportunity came, comes up and I can think of nothing more fitting than a memorial like this to be able to leave more people, unknown to her, the opportunity to explore, 
to experiment, to challenge themselves. And I think she would just shine down and love this. And can't tell you how much I think this means. So again, thank you so much for this. I know Catherine would just love this. <laughs>